Hello everyone, we're iRender. Welcome to our latest video about testing render speed. As you may know, iRender provides high configuration computers for rendering. You will connect to our computers via window remote desktop and then you will have full control of them, just like you are using your own machines. In this video, we will see the render performance of the newly launched server 6XRTX4090 for Cinema 4D and Redshift. Let's go! The first step is transferring your project files to iRender server with app iRender Drive. In this step, please use the most stable internet connection that you have. Next, log into your iRender account and create your working environment. In case you are first time use, don't forget to follow our instructions step by step. After choosing our latest server 8S with 6 GPU RTX 4090, you can boot and connect after a few minutes. Now we are on iRender remote machine, let's get started by installing Cinema 4D and Redshift. Please note that you will need to use your own license for Cinema 4D and Redshift. Besides, you just have to install everything once because your working environment will be saved after each use. Then you copy uploaded files from Z drive to C drive of the remote machine to work more stably. Everything is ready, now you can open your files and set up suitable parameters and settings as you always do on your local computer. Set output on C drive and render. Render completed. The total render time is 1 hour 20 minutes and 8 seconds. After checking your output, you can copy the result back to Z Drive and download it later with iRender Drive app on your local PC. Finally, shut down the image and download the result from iRender Drive to your computer. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to give us a try with our most powerful server for Redshift and Cinema 4D. iRender Happy Rendering